peace, love, and blessings from me to each and every one of you guys out there. I want to thank you for joining me for yet another workout right here at the Red Brick Wall. Now, the focus of today's workout is going to be the upper body, the abs, and some cardio in there. All right, all you're going to need is your yoga mat, bottle of water, a pair of dumbbells, preferably 10 pounds. So go grab them things, you come right back, and let's get started. Cool, guys. So let's kick this workout off with our warm up. So, in 10 seconds, we're going to get started with the modification marching high knees or you can go for the full thing and jog or march on this spot ready three two one all right let's go so remember you can either march on the spot here or you can join me as i jog or bounce on the spot relaxing the body the shoulders putting that big smile on your face as always and engaging the abs staying nice and tall in the torso so up next we're coming into back kickers modification you take the hops out of it we're coming side to side Keeping the knee down, ready, and let's go. So knee stays down, the heel comes up to the bum. That's your modification, full movement. You add that hop, start to engage the fist, bring them up the shoulders, warm up the biceps, the arms. That's the main focus today, today, today. Uh, the upper body. I said today like three times just now, oh my God. <laughs> All right, we're into jumping jacks next. Here's the modification, ready? Let's go, that's your mod right there. Tapping side to side, twisting the head or you can go for the full movement. Nice deep breaths in through your nose, out through the mouth. Up next we got twisters. Twisters, now here's the modification. All the hops out of it, relax the shoulders, you twist in the arms left to right. Remember to pivot on either foot as you turn to each side, all right? Full movement, shoulders up, elbows up, and twist the hips from side to side. From here now we're heading right back to the beginning with those high knees remember you got the option of marching on the spot three two one ready all right let's go so you can march in the spot or you can bring those knees up just a little bit higher and keep the abs tight stay really tall in that torso engage your arms and smile keep your water close today you can be really focusing on lots of strength splash of cardio in there to get the heart rate up and some core all right up next butt kickers ready Knees down. I want you to thank yourself for showing up today for a quick 30 minute workout. It's much better than just chilling. Let's get that movement in that sweating. Right now it's what? It's maybe 5.30 in the evening here in Singapore. So it's a late afternoon sweat for me. All right, jumping jacks. Bring those arms up overhead. Relax your shoulders. Today's workout, guys, we're going to be focusing on one circuit with 10 exercises. We're going to do that circuit three times. Ready? Three, two, one. Into twist hops. All right, great work. Now, it's all good if you don't have 10 pound dumbbells. That's completely fine. You can complete this workout with bags of rice, cans of chickpeas, whatever you may have. Just add a little bit of extra weight. And if there's no weight, it's all good. You're still moving. All right, one more round, ready? Right back to the beginning. Get those knees up just a little bit higher. Come on, a little bit more intensity than we give in the very first two rounds. Should be sweating, should be starting to feel a little bit warmer. Right now, six seconds, five, four, three, two, butt kickers, ready? All right, let's go. Knees down, heels up, fist to shoulders. I hope you're still smiling. I hope you're still fighting through the warm up, burning calories, priming our body up for the strength routine to come. Five seconds. Refresh out of injury. <laughs> ah, that was amazing. Ready? Jumping jacks. And if you guys haven't checked out Injure, it's a 30 day program we did last month. Deep wraps into the nose, open them up. We've got one more move here. Three, two, one. All right, twist hops. Go get it. Relax those shoulders, elbows tight. Twist the hips from side to side. Keep the abs tight. We're really working through the obliques here. Feel that core rotating. Stay light on the feet. Relax the ankles. Knees are soft. We've got four seconds left in the world, y'all. It's about to get real. Three, two, one. And relax, all right, good stuff. 
Now if you need to pause, you do that. I'm gonna start by opening up the joints. Uh, big circles, so pause if you need to, as I said before. Come right back and pick up where you left off. So big circles coming forward, let's take it backward. The knees are soft here. Taking care of the shoulder joints, getting them nice and loose. Nice and limber, ready to move. Got some push-ups in there. All right, good stuff. Now we're going side to side. So inhale, right hand comes to the hip, left arm up and overhead and switch. Opening up the side of the body. That's it. Let's so get two more inhale up to center. Exhale. Final one inhale and up to the center. All right, beautiful work. Good stuff. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, we press the hips forward, pull the arms behind the head. Let me turn to the side so you can see a slight back bend. And exhale, bending the knees, we're going forward. Huh. Inhale, lifting it up. And exhale, taking it forward. Final time, inhale, bring it up. And exhale, forward. All right, great work. So since we're gonna be doing cardio as well, lots of uh, full body movement for the cardio, you wanna release the hips and the legs as well. So bring the fingertips to the hips, feet are wider than hip distance. We're gonna get some hip circles in here. It's a nice dance move. And change direction. Still breathing. And switch. All right, let's do this one more time. Beautiful work. Open up the hips, internal rotation. So you're bringing that knee in towards the body from the outside to the inside and change direction. Let's take it over to the opposite side. So right leg, that knee really opens up, stabilizing on the left side. Turn that right hip out, and then we're gonna change direction. Switch it up just a bit, use the arms for balance. All right, great work. Now, releasing the ankles, big circles with the ankles, and the most important part today is gonna be the wrist. We've got a lot of planks, a lot of quadrupedal positions, so we need these wrists to be nice and strong and loose and ready. Release both ankles. Circles, you can flex the palms toward me and then point them down. Flex and point. Do whatever you need to do to get them loose. Open them cans of jars. Good, so warm up finish. You're gonna get the weights, get your yoga mat, bring the water and let's get started with our workout. Amazing, so we're gonna get started with the workout. There is one circuit, and within that circuit, there are 10 exercises. We're gonna perform each exercise for 45 seconds with a 15 second rest between and complete a total of three rounds of the entire circuit. So once you're ready, we're gonna get started with our very first move, which is a high plank. We're all familiar with plank. I've got a new timer today, I'm very excited for it. So in three seconds, we're coming down into plank. Ready, three, two, one, let's go. You're bringing the hands directly under the shoulders. We're just holding a nice, strong, solid plank here. Hands on the shoulders, that spine is really straight. The abs are engaged. Spread the fingertips wide and press into the base of the palms and breathe. So we're gonna be building on these movements. Starts out nice and easy and then it gradually challenges us. 20 seconds to go. Let's keep breathing. Final 10. Pressing through the heels, those legs are straight in line with the spine. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, great work. Up next, we're coming into a plank row. So we're gonna get one weight, only one of those weights we're gonna need. We're gonna place all the weight down into the right hand. Remember, keep that hand under the shoulder, and we're gonna do some rows on the left side, okay? Ready, three, two, one. All right, let's go. So bring the legs just a little bit wider than normal, and we're lifting and lower that weight. Remember, you're leaning with the elbow here, press into that palm, you're gonna start to feel it in the shoulder. Maybe the abs are on fire already. <sighs> Strong, solid base. Keep it moving, we're gonna switch on halfway. Ready? Three, two, one, and switch arms. <sighs> Remember, you wanna be really solid in that palm that's on the ground. <sighs> you keep lifting and lowering. <sighs> oh yeah, approaching 10 seconds. 
seven seconds. Abs engage. I can feel my obliques on fire here. Four, three, two, one. All right, beautiful work. Up next, we're into a walkout plank. So walkout plank, what does that look like? This is what it looks like. You're gonna come into plank position and walk your hands as far forward as you can, okay? Ready? Let's go. So walk those hands out as far as you can. Engage the core, squeeze it, and bring it back to center. I'm slipping here. You can keep going. Just let me get some foot in so I don't slide away. There we go. So walk those hands out. Keep the spine straight, oh, abs engage. You just want a really slight pause out there. One or two seconds before you bring it back in. Remember, challenge yourself. Try to go a little bit further than you think you can. Bring it back in. Seven seconds. Ready, three, two, Oh, woo. All right, we're coming into standing position. We're gonna be working overhead here. So overhead press, we're taking both dumbbells, four presses together, and then we're gonna go two on each arm. I'll show you. Ready? Knees are soft. Let's go for four. Together, one, two, three, four. Left arm stays up. Right arm works for two. One, and switch arms. Left arm for two, one two and now together for four got it that's the format so four together two individually three four left arm stays up use them knees if you need to one two together two three ten seconds four it's building some stability and strength at the same time ah keep working guys two together three seconds left two three oh Woo. Don't hit the shoulders, good. Up next, we're coming into a push-up plus a top jump. The modification for push-ups, you come to your knees, the top jump, instead of top jumping, you just do two of these, okay? Ready? Here's the modification. Down on those knees, two strong, one, two, bring it in, and up for one, two. That's the mod, and keep repeating. Full movement, two push-ups, one, two, jump those legs in, and up for two. Top jumps. That's it. Remember with the top jumps, guys, you want to land nice and light on the feet. Keep the knees bent. It's our cardio and upper body. 10 seconds to go. Keep that body straight. Legs in. One, two, five seconds. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, great work. Huh. Next movement is cardio again. We've got weighted high knees. We've got the option here of marching on the squat, holding the weights or not, or you can go for the full thing. Ready? Remember, you can march, or you can go for the full run. Get those knees up. Add a weight. Add in some resistance. Oh. Make this work a little bit harder. Burn some more calories. Oh. Less than 30 seconds to go. You keep going. I know it burns. The arms are working, abs are working, everything is working. Oh my gosh. Approaching 10 seconds. Come on, guys, even if you're modifying, you keep moving. Approaching three. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, and relax. Great work. Stop and take a sip of water if you need it. Now, coming down to plank, knee taps. Into high plank position. Ready, three, two, one. So from the plank position, we're gonna tap across the body, the opposite knee, whoa. So engage the core, drive the left knee up so the right arm can tap it and alternate. Squeeze that core, keep your bum down. You don't want the bum to be too high here, all right? Focusing on the core. Some shoulders in there. Oh. 20 seconds. Strong in the palms. Oh. 10 seconds to go. Looking good. 
four, three, two, ooh, ooh, ooh. Down on our box. Way to drop knives. What in the world is that? Full movement minus the weight. You can shoot the legs out and the arms out and come right back and touch the knees, okay? That's the modification right there. Relaxing the head. Full movement. We're gonna grab that weight, only one of them, and then extend the arms back, legs out, and crunch it in. Got it? So relax in the neck. Wow. Inhale as you lengthen and exhale as you shorten. We keep going, guys. We're gonna work to the buzzer. I can't see the time to let you know. <laughs> so stay strong. Let's get it. Long legs, long arms. Keep your lower back on the mat. Three seconds. Two. All right, and relax. Up next, where are we? In and out abs. Oh my gosh, my favorite. <laughs> Can you hear the sarcasm? Coming up into a seated position here. Modification. You do one leg at a time. This is your modification. One leg at a time, okay? The full movement. You're gonna kick them both out and bring them in together. Oh. Abs on fire. Come on guys. Whoa. 20 seconds. And breathe. Got me taking breaks in between. Tummy on fire. 10 seconds. We got one more move before we take our first 30 second break. Ready, three, two, one. All right, final move, hand release push up. Modification here, you're gonna come to the knees. The difference is, guys, you tuck the elbows in towards this side of the body, all right? So the elbows are behind the shoulders. Ready, here's the modification. So my elbows aren't out, they're in onto the side of the body. Gently lower yourself down, release the arms, and lift your way back up to that starting position. Keep your spine straight. That's your modification. Full movement. Lift those legs, one nice long body, chest and belt touch together, and then they lift as a whole. Remember, we're aiming for a nice straight spine. If you need to do, uh, do as many of these ones as you can, and then when you can't, you modify, all right? Keep that form nice and tight. Elbows into the body. We're hitting the triceps here. Back of the arms. Oh, five seconds to go. Keep it going. One more. Oh. All right, guys, great work. We've got 30 seconds on for a quick water break. We're gonna come right back to circuit number two. All right, in five seconds, we're gonna get ready to begin with that high plank again. Ready, three. Break is over. Ready? We're right back to the high plank in five, four, three, two. Pull that plank. Remember how easy this was in the beginning? should just be a little bit more challenging <laughs> not too much <laughs> or maybe too much come on we're strong breathe it out keep that body straight and if mine isn't straight you let me know that it isn't straight if i need to drop my bum a bit more <sighs> press through the heels pull up on the quads and breathe <sighs> approaching 10 seconds y'all Nine, eight, stay with me. Seven, abs tight. Six, five, four, almost there. And relax. All right, good stuff. Now we're into those plank rows. Remember alternating one arm at a time. Run our boats down the stream. Merrily, merrily, merrily. As the nursery line goes. Ready? Let's go. Remember, bring the legs a little bit wider. One, two, we're running until halfway. Three, four lower that weight as far down as it can and lead with the elbow pull it back up into the body <sighs> keep going got five seconds before we switch ready for three two all right let's switch it oh <sighs> spread the fingertips to that left hand wide 
press into the base of the palm stack all the joints one on top of the other control that weight as you lift and lower <sighs> working the back of the body here hell we're working the entire down body here <laughs> i can feel my abs like crazy <sighs> let's go guys five seconds four three keep lifting two one all right beautiful work guess what's next the walkout plank yay walkout plank <laughs> Ready? Three, two, change my scenery. Let's go. Walk it out as far as you can. Straight body, two second pause, and bring it right back in. Oh. And bring it in. This one is really tough. Oh my gosh. Wow. The abs feel as if they want to tear apart. Oh. If you took a break like I just did, dust it off and come right back in. Oh. 10 seconds. Oh. Let's get one more. Bring it in. Three, two, one. Holy moly. Thanks, John. Overhead combo. You need both weights here. Remember, it's four together, and then we go doubly on either side. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Left arm up, right arm working for two. One, right arm up, left arm working for two. And now we go together. Don't arch your back here, guys. As fatigued as you get, you keep that form straight and strict. Bend your knees if you gotta, and allow them to. Help you press that weight up. Uh, two. Oh, come on. One. 15 seconds. Two. Together. Whoa. Uh, uh. Two. Three. Five seconds. Four. One. Get one on each. Uh, and relax. <sighs> Cardio. Guess what's next? Two push ups and two tuck jumps. Ready in five, four, three, stay strong. Hope you guys are feeling well. Let's go. Strong two. If you're modifying, I want you to kill it. Remember, use them high knees if you need to uh, for the modification. Don't be shy. One, two, bring it in. In, up. One, two. Legs on the feet. Strong two. Two. Oh my gosh. Ten seconds. Let's go. Let's get one more round in. Come on. One. Two. End up. Oh. Oh, top work, y'all. No sympathy today. For me or for anyone. None of these muscles. Going home rested. Ready? High knees. Let's go. Remember your modification. You can do this weightless, weighted. Oh, you can march on the spot. It's the point where 10, 10, uh, 10 pounds feel like 30 pounds. If I'm carrying around two children in my arms. Oh my god, 20 seconds. Knees are really lifting off. Come on, stay strong with me as I try to stay strong too. <laughs> Keep your chest up. Don't cave to the weight. Lift that chest up because we're proud, because we're strong. We're going to make it to the end. Oh, three seconds, ready? Oh. All right, plank knee taps. Into that plank position. Remember, releasing and tapping. The opposite knee. Ready? Let's go. Across the body. It's not about the speed here. It's about stabilizing that trunk. Getting that knee off. Getting that arm off. How's the arms feeling, y'all? Quick body check. See what's happening. Oh, keep fighting. 
20 seconds to go. Abs, shoulders, and cardio. Upper body on the hole. Let's go, y'all. Three seconds. Man. All right, weighted jackknives. Ready, five, four, three, two. Let's go. Long legs, long arms. Inhale. Exhale as you bring it together. Uh, let's go, guys. Almost there. I've got just one more round to go. Uh, to make this official. Keep working. Uh, 20 seconds. Uh, uh. Kicking my own butt. Uh, uh. Wow. Back in. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm so used to the other timer. The time seems extra long on this new one. By the way, do you guys like this timer or do you prefer the other one with a very noisy bell? Drop any comment section below and let me know oh, which timer you prefer. This one or the old one? Oh, remember your modification here. Oh, you tap the knees one at a time. Oh. 25 seconds. Abs are taking a beat in here today. 15 seconds. I'm gonna try to stick it the entire thing. Stay with me. Uh, 10 seconds. Oh, long legs. Six, oh. five, four, three, keep going, two, wow. All right, y'all, final movement before we come to our quick 30 second break. <laughs> and then round number three. Ready? Remember the hand release push ups, you modify by coming to the knees. Let's go. Let's aim for at least 10. That's one, minimum of 10. Two. Remember the body comes up and down as a whole. Four, five, six. Keep it going. We got 25 seconds to go. Seven, eight. Come on. Try to make that ten. Nine, ten, fifteen seconds left. Y'all keep pushing. If you're at number eight, you keep going. Hit that ten. Hit that ten marker. You can do it. Uh, Six seconds. Come on, get that extra two if you need it. Ready? Uh, one more. Oh. All right, beautiful work. Quick 30 seconds. Then we're back in for circuit number three. Huh. Just in case you wonder why every time I go this way, it's because the camera got, I've got it only caps out at 23 minutes. That's the max recording time. So just let it run. It's a possibility that I may not have this workout on that camera. And that is bad. Okay. All right, here we at. Ready? Let's get started. Final round. If you need more time, you hit pause. You come and join me for that high plank. We get started in four, three, ready, two, one. All right, front around, hold that plank, nice and strong. It's the last round, y'all. Solid plank, body straight, hands on the shoulders, abs engaged, running out of things to say. And that's fine. Silence is fine, right? I think so. 20 seconds. Keep breathing. Final 10. Six, five, four. 
You got it. Amazing work. Guess what's up? Plant crows. Sounds like it could be a, a vegetable. A plant crow. You had a plant crows today? No, mom, I didn't. I don't know if it would taste good or taste bad. It just sounds like a vegetable. Let's keep it going, y'all. How's your shoulder feeling? Is it shaky? We got five seconds before we switch. Keep going. You keep going. Ready? Three, two, oh. All right, switch hands. Bring those legs really away. Strong in the palm. You're strong in the palm. You're strong in the hips. Uh, let's keep it moving. Approaching 10. Oh, keep going. Approaching five seconds. Three, two, one. Oh. It's the walk up plank. I'll walk it out. I'll walk it out. You know what Bob Murray said about music? One good thing about music, when you sing it, you feel no pain. No, he actually said when it hits, you feel no pain. Adapting it to suit the situation. Take them hands long. Uh, don't worry, you've only got seven more moves to put up with my, my madness. Oh, bring it in. 20 seconds. Uh, strong hips. Oh, woo. Abs. <laughs> 10 seconds. Bring it in three, two, one. That one really is tough. Oh my gosh. I would actually do rather do the next movement, which is the push-up plus top jump, before I do those walk-up top jumps. Oh my god. Walk-up plank, sorry. Ready? Let's go. Two for two. One, two, legs in. Stop and release your wrist if you need to. One, two. If you're not used to this kind of workout, your wrist may be a little sore. One, two, bring it in. Ten seconds. Come on, you can do this. I can do this. Five seconds, four. Oh. All right, weighted high knees. Let's get that weight in our hands. Seven seconds to go. If you haven't subscribed to my channel as yet, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Lots more videos coming. <laughs> oh gosh, this weight is very heavy right now. 30 seconds. Keep your knees lifting, y'all. It's all about the upper body. More so than the cardio today. Even if you're down to marching, that's fine. I'll take a march. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one. Go again. 15 seconds. Break it down into chunks. If you got a 12, final 10. Woo! Final five. Ready, three, two, one. Oh man, plank knee taps. Eight seconds, seven, six. All right, let's go. Alternating. It's really testing the upper body strength and endurance today. And the core. Keep it going. 30 seconds. You're almost there. You're doing good. Even if you took a break, are, are in the process of taking a break. You're still doing good. Just don't stay up forever. Dust those knees off. Oh. My arm's gonna be cussing me in all kinds of different languages tomorrow. Nine seconds. Six, five, four, Ready. 
Oh, holy crap. All right, weighted jackknives. I only need one weight now. Five seconds, four. Ready, on our backs, three, two. All right, let's go. Arms long. Bring it in, come on. It's the final time you're gonna see this move today. Reach those legs, reach those arms. Lower back on the mat. Ah, pull the knees in and breathe out. Ah, scream if you gotta. Ah. Ah. Back in. Ah. Get those arms out, guys. Approach your five seconds. Up oh, three, two. Oh, oh man. Oh, in and out abs. Yay, four, three, two. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, oh, sugar, spice, and everything nice. These are the things that used to make the Powerpuff Girls. Oh, can you tell I watched a lot of cartoons growing up? Keep going, get them legs out. Oh, shoot, man. Come on. 15 seconds. Final 10. Six. Five. Keep fighting. Four, three. Oh. Woo. Final move. Hand release push ups. Ready? It's the last move. Let's give it all we got. Whatever's left in there. Squeeze it out. Put it in your shirt or on the floor. Release. And press. Push from the base of the palms. Keep those elbows in. Keep your body straight. Triceps are crying. They so deserve to be. Keep going. 22 seconds. Let's get four more. I'm aiming for four more. One, two, bring that body to a complete halt. Three, four, keep going. Five, six, three seconds. And up. What did we miss? Oh, the overhead combo. Oh my God. All right, get those weights, guys. False alarm. Final movement, the overhead combo. Ready? Let's go, four presses. One, two, three, four. Left arm stays up for two, one. Wow, two and switch. Remember, don't arch, even if you're tired, two. seconds bring it up for four one two uh, three four leave it up one two come on keep fighting one two and bring it down nice and slow that my friends is the end of today's upper body crazy workout we're gonna take a sip of water come right back and we get our strap. All right, amazing guys. Congrats on completing today's workout. It's absolutely a killer. Call for a little bit of fighting in the entire body's leg. Nothing was spared. So, to work in the opposite direction of the fire, we need some water to cool this down, literally and figuratively. We're gonna start by stretching the body, bringing our right hand right onto the right hip, inhaling up, lifting the left arm up and over to the left side. If you want here, you can feel free to grab hold that left wrist with the right hand. Bring that body over to the right side. Nice deep breaths, inhale and up to center. And exhale, big breath out over to the opposite side. Great stuff, we're bringing it up to standing. Now we're gonna start with bringing the left hand across the chest, relaxing that left shoulder, keeping the elbow bent, 
gentle tug on the right forearm, pulling it in towards the body, pressing our left elbow, left shoulder away from us, and switch. That's it, keep breathing. You keep slowing that heart rate down. All right, great stuff. Now I'm gonna open up the chest just a bit, just like I am, swinging the arms front to back, releasing the neck left to right. Alright, good stuff. So we're coming onto the neck. We're gonna bring the fingertips and gently pull the left side of the neck. Nothing too intense, just really gentle guidance, a bit of guidance. Bring it down right here to the right shoulder and switch. Sticking with the breath and through the nose out, through the mouth. Oh yeah. Now I'm gonna bring the chin to chest. Tucking the chin, fingertips to the back of the head. And breathe. Completely relax the body. Just letting everything out to bring this session to a close. We're gonna come all the way down onto the mat. Start on the back, okay? Just bringing both knees into chest. We're gonna pull the right leg into the chest, extend the left leg out nice and long. Some ankle circles here, releasing the ankles, giving them thanks for all of the work that they helped us push through today and change sides. Really has been amazing. Let's get the hips. So both knees into the chest, taking it over to the right side. We're gonna open up the chest with the left arm, reach into the left side. It's all good here if you cannot touch the ground with your knees. As long as you feel that stretch, relax the body. Be patient, be gentle. And one day you'll get there. Let's go over to the other side. All right, good stuff guys. We're coming up to seated position. Taking it over onto the tummy. Let's put a cobra in here, so flat down on the tummy, the elbows in, just like those hand release push-ups. We're gonna lift it all the way up. Oh yeah, the arms are shaky. Relax, relax those glutes, head to the back of the body. Taking it all the way down, coming into downward dog. So everyone come to your knees, curl the toes under, we're lifting up, hips up to the sky, into downward dog, push the left knee, sorry, the left, yeah, left heel down, and bend the right knee, and switch. Release those calves. Working our way up into a standing position. You do that for as long as you need to. You're gonna step the feet between the hands and roll it all the way up to standing. Releasing the neck, guys. I wanna thank you for joining me for yet another workout right here. Always feels better at the end. It's tough going through it, but the rewards are at the end. All right, continue to share that love and that inspiration to those who you come into contact with. If you guys really like this style of workout, you let me know down below in the comment section. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Get up, get up, and you get moving. Peace.